Hey guys, what's up? It's kind of a cool light show we got going on here. You got a table like a DJ would have. You've got some Inno Pocket scans and some Inno Pocket fusions going on. I'm going to turn some music on and we're going to go ahead and check this out, see what it looks like and sound active. Now that's a pretty cool light show. A lot is happening, but it looks good. We got some atmosphere going on. We we're able to use fog in this gig, but it looks good. Now just for fun, Let's turn off the fusions and just rock the scans for a minute. I like that look, it's dramatic. Not too much going on, the absence of light is cool. Just these two spots going through the air from the scanners, I think it's a cool look. We can alternately turn off the scans and just rock the fusions. That's also a cool look. We can see the effect going through the air as an area. Okay, now let's add some of that hit by a truck lighting I was talking about in a video a few days ago where it just looks like a truck's coming at you. We're gonna wash the dance floor straight on with some bars. All right, you already see it. With all the fog in the air, and all of the cool aerial effects we had going on, we can't see them anymore because the spot has drowned them out. They're using too much lighting in this case at once. You either use wash or you use aerial. If you use both at the same time, sometimes if you do it wrong, you end up canceling out effects. You can still kind of see the aerial stuff, but it's not nearly as dramatic. So let's try something a little different. Let's point the fixtures up and see if that helps us see our aerial effect a little better. It helps a little bit, but I'm still not happy with it. We should be able to see this aerial effect much better. So what can you do? Let's try putting the lights on the ground and shooting them up and see what happens. It helped our situation a little bit, but you know, once again, I'm not seeing the drama in my aerial effects. So it's my opinion that when you're running an aerial effect, turn off your wash. Let that aerial effect be seen, because it's cool. So check this out. Before, and after. You tell me what looks cooler. So that's just a quick video for you, just to kind of show you how you could really screw up an effect by using too many lights at once. It's totally cool to wash. It's totally cool to do something like this, where you've got all these aerial effects going on. But if you do both at the same time, you end up canceling out your effects and nothing looks cool. Your wash doesn't look cool and your aerial doesn't look cool. Hope that helps somebody. This is one of those lighting help videos that I was trying to put out there for those of you who are making this mistake. And I wanted to show you what it looks like from the dance floor's perspective. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps somebody practice and enjoy.